The elevator pitch is one of the most difficult things to give to somebody who is used to school and education being considered the same thing. So they say, well, what is the difference between an apogee school? What is the elevator pitch? And the best thing that I can say is that normal school is a microcosm of normal school. Apogee schools are a microcosm of real life. That's the best elevator pitch. Now to break it down from a practicality standpoint of what does that mean on a day-to-day -day basis? It's, it's difficult to give a blanket statement because it's, it's like asking, hey, so what does it mean to live a successful life? Can you give me a day in the life of somebody who is successful? That there's a presupposition that it only looks one way, which you and I both know a successful life can be defined a number of different ways. So for an Apogee school, we're trying to figure out what that looks like for each individual in the microcosm of a, something that mimics the real world. So if we're gonna take an example of a potential day, students are gonna come in, and if you think about the way college is laid out, theoretically, you've got a bunch of different buckets that you've gotta hit before you're able to graduate. You've gotta have a certain amount of classes in math you have a certain amount of classes in language arts you got a certain amount of classes in the electives you have all these different buckets and then you have a little bit of an element of choice within those buckets so apogee schools look very similar to that where there's essentially a menu and you're going to earn what we call badges think about boy scouts right you earn badges for showing mastery right you're going to earn badges in these certain meta categories of physical fitness of entrepreneurship uh, of you know social emotional development of your physiology you're gonna earn badges in all of these things and you're gonna earn badges based on your level of development grades aren't a thing first grade second grade fifth grade thirty eighth grade none of those are a thing development's real so ages from like about five to eight ish is one developmental range roughly nine to twelve ish is another developmental block. 12 to 16 is another developmental block. And then 16 to 18-ish really kind of goes up to about 23, 24 before there's the next big brain jump. But we're saying for the sake of an Apogee school, high school will go to about 18. Those are div different developmental ranges. So during the day, you are going to be doing simultaneously things with your own group of development. That's where you're going to do something like in the communication piece, you're going to have Socratic seminar. We're going to have Socratic discussions and understand what Socratic conversations look like. You're going to understand communication and debate and understand logical fallacies. And you're going to understand how to engage with the world in an effective fashion. You're going to understand how to do that, but you're going to do it in the context of your developmental range. So physical fitness, you're going to engage in some sort of physical fitness, whether it is a CrossFit style workout, whether it's kickboxing or whether it's jujitsu, you're going to engage in some sort of physical fitness and you'll likely engage with that with people within your own developmental level. But at some point, the older you get, the more you're also going to take on more and more responsibility. So the younger heroes are going to need more and more play, free play built in. That's actually an extraordinarily valuable learning experience that we suck out of school. And we get a little bit of recess here, but it's not free and there's not a whole lot of play and it's pretty truncated and so you get a lot more on the younger side but the older side gets to take on responsibility of going out and helping with that and, and working with them and so they get the responsibility of engaging there and you're going to tackle your buckets of entrepreneurship you're going to tackle all of these different buckets throughout the week but you're also going to engage together you're going to have these big projects where everybody may come together and, and engage with the creation of something for the context of the school and then the older students are also going to have things focusing on taking on responsibilities for the campus itself you may take on cleaning responsibilities you may take on cooking responsibilities you may take on learning to pay the bills you may take on doing tours for the parents you get the opportunity to actually learn to run the business while you're in school as part of your education and then of course internships and apprenticeships outside of that so it is literally scaffolding in all of those things all of those different meta buckets based on your developmental level throughout the day. It's the best way to describe it. There's all of those different chunks that take place. And so the whole game is just moving from chunk to chunk.
when we're talking about this, people hear, well, that's an alternative education option. It's an alternative to schooling that's only been around for about 150 years. All it is is a very simple return to the way it's always worked because it's a return to the truth of how humans work. Schooling has a system to perpetuate. We want to perpetuate personal development based on your age and the developmental levels. That's it. And it really comes down to just being in that environment, having good coaches and mentors, and doing what they do is a microcosm of life. Being a forever apprentice, a forever intern, forever collaborating with other people who are operating in life together in a small village or community. Everybody learning from each other. We're, we're going back to the way we're designed.